What's up guys, DJ Evans Fishing here, and today we are going to do a little unboxing. Um, I ordered up some baits, I got some six cents baits that I got in, and I ordered quite a bit. And I figured I, what I would do with you guys is go over what I got, why I like them, what colors I've got, just kind of how I'm ordered, and uh, kind of show you guys what I got and where we're going from there. So, let's pull up what we got. <clears throat> All right, guys, so one, let me start by telling you why I ordered these six baits first. So I I, I saw the Six Sense baits, and, and I liked their paint jobs, and I liked how the crankbaits look. So I went on their website, and just like a lot of other companies out there, the Monster Tackle Box, the, you know, all the other uh, the boxes that you can receive, um, I've seen some of those boxes, and I didn't really want to get a bunch of, uh, different brands of stuff that I may not use, colors I didn't know. So I went on Sixth Sense because I liked some of their stuff, and they have multiple different types of boxes you can order. So I went ahead and, and, and signed up for one. I got this uh, the Taylor Super Six box. Okay, and what they what they do with that box is is you tell them what kind of water you fish, um, and then they kind of almost customize a box to uh, the, the type of water and uh, a. a color water region that you're fishing anyway so so that's what they do um and um i started getting those in and i started noticing the crankbaits first off the, the, the paint jobs on these crankbaits and stuff was just amazing i mean it, the, some of their stuff looks like custom painted stuff that you would send to somebody to get custom painted so you also get with those crankbaits and stuff, I've, I started getting some plastic. So I was able to start looking at some plastics and see what the plastics uh, look like. And, and, and I liked some of their plastics. So so I said, you know what, let me place a big order. And I had placed some orders before and got some stuff from them. Uh, but mostly I was getting that my, my monthly package. And, and every month I'd go, wow, these, these look great. So I went online and, and some of the things that I, I, I throw and that I wanted to start throwing more um, of was swim jigs. And right away, I looked at their swim jigs, and, and what, what I loved about them was uh, their paint job. Even on their swim jigs, it's like on a crankbait. Um, so I ordered a bunch of those. And I'm just going to show you a couple of them. So here's a, this is the Divine swim jig, okay? This is a Shad Ice, and it's, it's hard to see, but you can almost tell if we can get the focus right. But the head on those things are painted so nice. The skirts are set up gorgeous. The the line ties up in the front like I like. I mean, they're, they're just set up right. Um, I'm out west. We fish a lot of clear water. So I went with a lot of, obviously, shad type colors. Um, even went with some. Uh, this is called a gizzard. Gizzard flash. So it's kind of a yellowish. Um, went with, a, obviously, a normal black and blue. Um, chartreuse and white. You know. Uh, but these things are... Just the detail that they put into them. Um, and, and again, I got one of these in my mystery tackle box, and that's what turned me on to them. So I took it out, I threw it, I liked how it ran, I liked how it worked in the water, went ahead and ordered all these up because it was a quality product. Um, some of the plastics, let's go to. These. Okay, so these uh, Stroker Cross, basically a twin tail grub is what they are. Um, I do like. Let's just pull this one out. This one just happens to be the black and blue. Um, so it's basically a twin tail grub is what it is. And we'll pull one out. Basically, like I said, twin tail grub does have some appendages. A bit thicker through the body, obviously, uh, than your normal uh, Yamamoto twin tail or something like that. But bottom line, it's a twin tail. Uh, but I liked it with the bigger body and stuff. This is something you could flip. Um, this is something you could throw on a trailer. This is something you could throw on the back of a swim jig. Um, and one of the, one of the things I noticed the first package of plastics I got was some prawns from from Six Sense. Was um, their durability? They're not. I mean, the, the claws obviously these are it's a thin part of the bait. They're, they move a ton. Um, but the main part of the body, um, a little more durable plastic. You put one of these things on, it's not pulling down. And and soft plastics, plastics, most of the time I want a softer plastic. When I'm having it on a, on a jig and it's a trailer, I want something that's going to stay on there. I don't want to have to be changing my jig trailer 
all day long because they just keep pulling off and the plastic's so soft. I may get great movement out of the, 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 the flappers and stuff, but you're going to get plenty of action out of these flappers um, as your bait's sinking, if you have it on a trailer, or if it's kicking behind a swim jig. But the actual main body is very sturdy. So obviously there's times when you want a sturdy body, there's times when you want a little lighter body. Um, but this is that Stroker Craw, another great color. Let me pull one of these out to show you. This is a called Gill Dust. And it's like a green pumpkin, we'll say, with some orange and purple. Killer color. Now, it, it, the baits, their plastic bait colors remind me a lot of their crankbaits. Um, they take great, there's great detail in their crankbaits and stuff, and it, they're just amazing. Um, kind of the same thing with their plastics. And like I said, for these type of plastics, uh, that more durable body, I like. I like it. Um, you're not going to go through as many uh, when you throw them on there. Um, they're just going to hold up a lot better. Now, with that said, let's pull up something else they got here. Whoop. The Divine Swim Bait. Okay? Another great plastic of theirs. But, and this, we'll be brutally honest with some of this stuff. I, I, I'm not sponsored by Sixth Sense. Um, I paid for everything I've got. I, all the Sixth Sense I've got, I paid for. Um, so let's be brutally honest. Okay? Um, I like the swim bait that they have. Tail thumps hard, but stiffer plastic. Again, much like their, so whatever plastic they're using for this stuff, they're, they're, I think they're using for this stuff. Very durable, which is gonna be great. You don't wanna rip these. I'll be, again, I'll perfectly honest, I use a lot of Kitex, okay? Very soft, you get a good roll out of them when they're swimming and stuff. A Lot of movement, okay? Uh, these baits, you're not gonna get that same amount of roll with them. I think because of that harder plastic, where um, they remind me quite a bit of the Strike King swim bait. Uh, same thing. When I want the, the, the tougher kind of plastic, say I'm throwing it on a trailer uh, chatterbait, if I, perfect, if I'm throwing it on a chatterbait, or if I'm throwing, say it on swim jig, okay? I want, I probably want that tougher plastic, okay? Because I'm gonna be bombing that thing all around and I want that to stay up on the deal. I'm still gonna get the kick out of the tail, uh, but I'm not gonna be ripping as much baits, and I'm still, but I'm still gonna be getting the action I want. If I'm throwing it on a quarter ounce jig head or three sixteenths and I'm bombing this thing out there and slow rolling it, probably not the swim bait I'm gonna go with, probably a Kitek if I'm going with something like that. Um, something's a little softer, and yeah, I'm gonna go through a lot more, and they're gonna cost me a lot more per fish, let's put it like that, than one of these. Well, it's not gonna rip as much, it's not gonna pull off as much, but I'm not gonna get as much roll. Okay, so uh, good swim bait, love it for certain applications. Not the swim bait I throw um, on a quarter ounce, three sixteenths ounce swim jig, underspin, something like that. Plastic is just a little too tough when I'm doing that. Now, with that said, coming through the grass, if I'm throwing it up through the grass, I'm out in the open and, and, and I'm back in a cut and there's grass, maybe I do throw something like this because I might want that little tougher uh, so I'm not as worried about the huge roll because I'm coming through grass, fish are coming up and hitting it versus uh, when I'm fishing out in the opens on a flat where I want that roll, I want that fish coming up and want to eat. Not so much, not my opinion only, okay, somebody may disagree, but my opinion, not as important when I'm coming through the grass and I'm ticking it along the top of the grass when those fish are looking up and they're getting a quick look at it and they're coming up and blasting it. Versus when I'm out in the open and I got a small mouth that may be looking at that thing for from 20, 30 feet away and coming up on it and rolling it and it's got plenty of time to take, take a good look and uh, either decide to hit that bait or not, okay? So, the Divine Swim Baits, again, a um, little tougher plastic. Okay. So we got the stroke crowders. So what else are we get in here? I mean, we got we we got, uh, we got a lot of stuff. We we loaded up. Let me throw that in there. We loaded up on baits. Um, another bait I went and got. I wanted to give a shot to the Clout 4.5. Basically, a stick bait. Okay. I wanted to give their stick bait a shot. Again. Okay, this is the uh, Gill Dust also. 5.4 inch, okay, tapered 
tapered tail towards the end, um, ribbed along the body, kind of almost like a hatch type, you know, making, but though it is a stiffer plastic, it's still soft enough, but again, not gonna rip really easy. So if I'm throwing this thing out wacky rigged, um, I'll also throw these Texas rig, small, small white. I, I, I sometimes we use an eighth of an ounce. Heavy wise, sometimes I'll go to a three sixteenth, but usually like an eighth. Um, and I'll throw these things Texas rigged. We'll throw it out there. So I wanted these. I haven't given a shot. Haven't given a shot yet. But, but the five point four size, nice size, slim. I like it. Um, I wanted to give them a shot. That's something I, I, I bought. I haven't tried them. I did get one pack of those in one of my um, my monthly uh, sacks that I get. Um, I wanted to give that a shot. So let's get, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot this weekend, actually. We're going to go out there and throw that a little bit. That's something else I got. Color-wise, let me tell you what I do color-wise, and we'll keep it real simple. I don't, I don't get crazy. They've got a million colors, right? I don't need a million colors. I need my black and blue. I need my green pumpkin. Your, you know, your watermelons. That's it. That's all I'm going with. And that's kind of what you got. Gill dust, a little different, but basically a green pumpkin but it's just got some different kind of flake in it. Other than that, I've got green pumpkin here, uh, black and blue. Same thing with my um, swim jibs, black and blues. Some green pumpkin I went with, um, chartreuse and, and uh, white, and then your straight shad type colors. That's it. I go. Th I bought all three eighths. I make a quarter ounce. I, I bought All I bought was three eighths and a half ounce. That's, that's enough for me. That's gonna get me where I need to be. Um, weight wise. Um, let's take a look real quick at some crankbaits, okay? Um, this is something I've noticed with them. When you put in a pretty big order, like I did with them, for both these orders, and, and I'm not saying they do this with everyone. This may have been just something they they did because of the size of the order. Every once in a while, I, like, I didn't order this crankbait. I have this crankbait. It came in one of my bags. I didn't buy it. They threw it in. Um, this company's not, I mean, and, and I've noticed they've done that with another order I did. I had bought a bunch of stuff. Um, sure enough, uh, they had thrown in like a pack or two of something, something something I didn't order, probably for me to give a shot to, but they'll do that, and I think that's pretty awesome of them. Um, this is a Crush 50X, just a little um, square bill. Um, I actually have this bait. It's nice, it's black and blue. Um, but here's what I ordered. Let's go through some of this stuff. And let me show you some of the paint jobs and stuff. Okay, popper. Okay, basically a bone. It's got kind of a, a goldish on the back. Slash back 70s, that's what, these are silent. This is a silent mode. This is your um, kind of bluegill color. You see that? Okay. Um, again, splash back 90 they make also. It's just a bigger version of the 70, obviously. That's a blue gold gun. Again, keep my sim color simple. Let's not overthink it, especially in top waters. My whites, um, my chromes. This is a chrome. This is Splashback 70 here also in a chrome thread fin, kind of a chromish paint. I went chrome, white, and again, not a green pumpkin necessarily, but a bluegill color. Okay. Um, got those splashbacks. I would want this basically. We got, this is the Mega Dog 130. Basically it's a big, let's call it a, a big Vixen, basically is what it is, the 130 size. Okay, again, keep it real simple. Your whites, uh, white chartreuse. This is the uh, Dogma uh, 100, another, let's just call them Vixen type baits. It's what the, you know, kind of what they are. Um, walking baits. Okay, went with that. Um, some little just a hyper jerk, and I haven't tried this. This is something I bought. Uh, this is a subsurface type bait. Uh, if you want to say a jerk bait in a sense, but more your top water. I don't know how you put it. Maybe a top water jerk bait. Get it up under the water. Evidently, haven't tried it. I'll tell you guys uh, when I'm out there if I do if I jack them on it. Okay, subsurface, walking the dog type thing shooting back and forth so kind of a jerk bait top water uh anyways i wanted to give it a shot phone's going off uh so i want to give that a shot anyways a nice bait um 
yeah, that's it. That's really it. it, it like you said, it's a lot of baits. Um, shoot, I got another five, six baits in here. Um, but basically all the same colors. Don't get crazy on your colors, guys. Top waters, white works, bone works, chrome works, something with chartreuse, something green pumpkin, bluegilly. Keep it simple. Don't get crazy, all right? No reason for it. Same thing with your swim jigs. Keep that in mind. Keep it simple, all right? Keep, what do they say? Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. That's it, okay? Trailers, um, you know, twin tails and stuff. Keep it simple. Green pumpkins, browns, watermelons, your black and blues. Don't get crazy on the colors. There's a million colors out there and not saying certain colors don't work and certain colors may work better on a certain lake. Um, we all know there are certain lakes that a certain color works great on. Okay, fine. Good luck going and finding that specific color for every single lake. You can go in your local taco shop, you probably find something that they say, hey, hey, this is the bait. Okay, fine, buy a pack of them. But in your boat, whenever you head to a tournament, no matter where you're at, if you have the basic colors covered, you're gonna be fine, okay? Don't get crazy about it. Uh, listen, that's that's about all I got from, uh, it's a lot. Uh, we could go over, I could show you every single color, but like I said, basically, they're all the same colors. It's, it's those four or five simple colors, and I keep a basic. Um, I'm probably going to get to fish a lot of these this weekend. Maybe I'll do a review after the review and let you know uh, how they worked. Um, I've used a couple of them, but I'll let you guys know how some of the other ones that I had just bought work, and we'll go from there. But until then, guys, listen, like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. I'm brand new to this stuff. We're going to start out. We're going to have a series on uh, myself fishing the National Professional Fishing League next year. Okay, I want to do a lead up to that. We're going to do all kinds of things. It's going to be crazy. We're going to be on the lakes. We're going to be fishing baits. We're going to be talking about baits. We're going to be talking about rods, reels, tackles, you name it. We're going to be talking about it. Give me a shot. Subscribe to this channel. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can figure out together. There's plenty we can learn on the lake that I may learn out there that I can pass on to you guys. So until then, guys, 